so we just got back from Disneyland today like what three hours ago I think yeah like three hours ago and I decided since I still had enough energy and I'm still on um, East Coast time don't mind the sunburn yes I'm wearing we got back from Disney World not Disneyland I'm wearing a Disneyland hoodie because I'm freezing, because we're already acclimated to the weather. So we're gonna do a little haul. We went a little nuts. So the first thing is our luggage was, we thought we packed really well. And we thought, because we loaded Dom's up with all these snacks and all this stuff, and then we're gonna have all this extra room for all of the things. And I was gonna put Dom's clothes with my clothes in the thing to go back. So that whole carry-on was just gonna be souvenirs. Well, we will see. We went a little overboard. So we ended up having to get new luggage, which I'm a little sad that Mickey's already like so busted and bruised. Um, but we ended up getting the big boy um, because we ended up putting all of our clothes, which was actually Pete Dom and I, Anastasia still kept her clothes, most of her clothes, some of her clothes were in ours too. And a couple souvenirs in that guy. And then we did bit, buy a couple of the shop bags, which are just reusable. But the first thing I'm gonna talk about is what is a good hack, I think, that I learned by watching some of the other YouTubers, which was to buy the cups that you get from, um, the hotels. What we did was the first night that we got there, we got in kind of late and we bought, um, because Dom, um, I bought meal for the water. So every time we went to get food or something, we bought, um, or we, we got extra water to put into our water bottles. Starbucks. What? Starbucks. Yeah. Anytime we got Starbucks or something, we got venti ice waters and then we put the, um, the Mio in to the water so that, you know, we had like B vitamins or whatever, but it was just so that it tasted like juice for Dom. But we bought these different, I got three different ones. One for Anna, one for Pete, one for me. That's Anna laughing at me because I'm recording. I'm naked. What? I'm naked. <laughs> so anyways, these are kind of expensive. These are kind of expensive when you first go to buy them. They're like 20 bucks. And it, they do say Walt Disney World, so they're a severe cup. I can use it for coffee or whatever. But they totally pay for themselves because every time you go down to get a coffee or a water or a soda or any of that other stuff, it's $4.99 for a refill. So every time we had dinner there twice and or once, no twice yeah because we, we had well we had breakfast yeah, and then breakfast. the pizza oh, yeah. so we yeah we had dinner twice mm -hmm. and then breakfast once and then every day we would get like the vitamin waters so that it wasn't just regular water yeah. or whatever mm -hmm. and coffees in the morning and yeah. just like when we came back we would stop after we got dropped off from the bus get water, you know, get drinks or whatever, um, after swimming and all that kind of stuff. So they used to, in the parks, help, uh, and you could get free sodas. They're not doing that in the park anymore. So in the park, it just gives you water. But I saw that on a thing and it's a total hack. So that's a really good hack that I found and it's totally worth it. Another hack, a cheat code, a cheat code as Pete calls it, cheat codes. Um, another uh, trick, is um well i had just been wanting this one because i wanted it so um is to get the popcorn buckets we have a popcorn maker so when we have family movie nights we just make popcorn anyways and now everybody can have their own like popcorn maker but uh every time you refill them gotta go gotta go uh every time you refill them it's only two dollars so that is super cool and the alien one we wanted to find, I don't know if you can see, but this guy lights up. 
I don't know if you catch that. You can kind of see it on the camera. So at nighttime, so at nighttime yeah, it looks really cool. It's the poison apple. But I did have the green one and the purple one. Purple, you know, it's my favorite. And then the alien, because we never see the alien at Disneyland. We have Oogie Boogie, but we didn't have the alien. And we have the annual pass holder uh, Mickey Mouse one. We, or Minnie Mouse one. We don't have the Mickey Steamboat one because they were sold out of that one. But we had to like accost this poor guy to get it for us. But it's kind of cool because this one opens for us now. Like, ah, the claw. I just thought it was cool. But that's a cheap snack, a two for the kids. Because how many, we we refilled it several times. Oh, yeah. So it totally, it's a cheap snack. And, you know, if you have little ones that are always like, I'm hungry. So, and we did bring our own snacks too. So that was good. Now on to, Pete and I drank more this trip than we have. Oh, um, I don't know if you can hear in the back. Um, then we have on other trips. Uh, so the first night we did buy a bottle from the hotel, which like we know better, but we did anyways. Because before like in Disney, like we've been there so frequently that we know like where we could go around the area that's like cheaper, whatever. But Disney World, you're like straight up on Disney property if you stay on property. So you have to get an Uber to go off site, whatever. So I think we paid like 20 bucks for what was it like a fifth? Yeah, but we're we're not we weren't used to it because in Disneyland it's different. You right, Disneyland. Alcohol. Yeah, in Disney, Disney World you can. So we kind of been yeah. not really needing it. Yeah. So we didn't know that Plus you. I thought you were gonna drink more with me in the hotel. Yeah, we didn't know that you could drink more in Disney World than like Disneyland. There's not really much drinking. So Disney World, we were surprised how much drinking there really was. So and we thought we were gonna. I thought I was gonna drink more in the hotel with him i mean we did have a drink um at the bar at the flowers mm -hmm. power or whatever because we stayed at the pop century hotel um but i was so dehydrated <laughs> it was so hot and so humid that i every time i drank i was getting like a headache not like a hangover headache but like just not i mean i was getting like leg cramps and everything so like i tried to drink i really did i tried but I didn't do too well. So anyways, back to the point was, we did a lot more drinking. So we got a couple souvenir cups. So we went to Rainforest Cafe twice. So we went to Rainforest Cafe twice. We went to the Rainforest Cafe inside of Animal Kingdom, and we went to the one in Disney Springs. <laughs> Pete and I both agree that the one in Disney Springs is way better. Like, um, Disney Springs is actually super cool. And I really wish that Disney, downtown Disney, was as cool as Disney Springs. I mean, they don't have the space for it, I get. But if they could make it yeah, like that, that, that would be, I mean, it's so, so pretty and it's so nice. So and many attractions. Yeah, there's so much to do and so many venues. But anyways, the there's a volcano that erupts. Um, the story, like a super big one, it's like, Balloon. Yeah, oh yeah, that's not part of the um, Rainforest Cafe. No. So. Oh yeah, there's a hot air balloon, there's... Huge um, hot air balloon. Yeah, huge, all sorts of stuff. It was like super awesome. But um, anyways, the Rainforest Cafe inside the storm was better. The storms were better. Um, and there was more animals, I feel like, around than there were in the... Um, the one inside Animal Kingdom. Anyways, so this was the cup that Anastasia got, which is, I don't know if it's coming out very well on camera, but it's elephants, and then it just says Rainforest Cafe on the back. And then Pete and I got- Mai Tais. Mai Tais with refills. Um, <laughs> and uh, we both got matching cups. So those are kind of cute, right? With like little green tree frogs on them. And they can be like, you know, Plant, um, like flower holders or something because I don't know if we would use them as a glass but I mean they're just cute little souvenir cups or whatever and then we went to um, Planet Hollywood awesome. also and that was super good we also did this um, local place we did an uber eat place and Pete had alligator and he just like loves alligator and that and the freaking gouda oh yeah bacon and then gouda cheddar bacon bites. cheddar bites were really awesome but we got like souvenir drinks. I don't know if it's really coming across, but you can see it says um, Plant Hollywood Orlando. 
and then oh yeah so i need to find those um i will you find those say. um but this is the other one and then the kids both got which is really cool like um this one was anna's which was like a slushy thing or something and then this one was dom's which is like another slushy thing so everybody got cool little like souvenir cups but we had this guy that was like totally um like checking our vibe or whatever and um he took family photos and they were really cute and we got um three of the four pictures that he took so those were kind of cool and then um as far as cups uh so there's two three more i go crazy and i get like you know coffee cups and all this kind of stuff but like this time i wanted more stuff i don't know that was specific to disney world and not I don't know not something that was like oh they have the same thing in disneyland that it just says disney world put on it so pete got one of his souvenir cups as a drink thing so he'll put that in his man cave or whatever and then he also got because he just wanted he wanted this one last time and we could buy this one like anywhere we can even buy this at the store but he just wanted it so we got uh, no, oh, they're probably in Dom's bag up here. His bag right here. And then this had just come out the day before, um, which is, it's a Walt Disney World, um, it, and it's uh, the special Mickey, and it goes to Children's Make-A-Wish. And so the profits from all of this, it kind of looks like Fantasmic with the, um, with all the sparkles and everything. It all goes to Make-A-Wish Foundation. So I was like, you know what? That's like a good cause. It makes me feel like I really have to do it. So. I'm going to, so anyways, I had to buy that one. And then the only other one that I felt like I, cause I always get a coffee cup. I just want one, but this one, because we went on the Skyliner, it was at our hotel. His bag's right here, babe. Uh, was the Skyliner cup. And I wanted, there were some that were like way cooler and I wish that I would have gotten one of those ones, but this one, because Dom's favorite dog is Pluto and Minnie and Mickey, kind of like the Minnie and Mickey Railroad. So that's why we did that one. So these were, so this one is the black and white one. That just go. This one is the family one. And then this one is the Dom one pretty cute right so then oh so because it was 2020 uh I did want a couple of things that were just like specific to 2020 so for like the Christmas tree and so for our Christmas tree it's just a little it doesn't really go with the theme but it was just really cute because our Christmas tree is like woodland creatures or whatever but um because we we went twice during this pandemic Pete and I went um, in February, so it was the beginning of the pandemic, I guess, um, to Disneyland, and it was just us with no kids. It was awesome. And then this guy lights up. It's pretty cute. And then we went for Anastasia's... Oh, that was her thing. Um, and then for Anastasia's graduation. And then this one, because... Um, I mean, it was on sale for one, but because it was buy one, get one, like, free or half off or something like that. And 2020 had a deal. So. Yeah, because everything was 2020 had a deal. But it, I thought that would be cute because I saw this the day after they took that family picture, and I, and I thought that it would be really cute in this one just because that's just really cute. So I got that. And then, um, so when I talk about the stuff that I wanted. So I did, um, Pete bought me two uh, sweatshirts. I was gonna get like a jersey or a spirit tee because the ones that I liked, which is the rose gold tie dye that says Walt Disney World on it. I was gonna get that one, but then I thought, you know, am I gonna wear that one all the time? Cause I do wear my pirates all the time and I wear my black with the bronze one all the time that says like what well, or Disneyland on it but then I saw this one that kind of looked like vintage Mickey and it said Walt Disney World and it was gray and then it was 
um, metallic like rose gold. So I got that one. And then the one that I wanted when we were in February that says, this is my happy place. And it had like um, cutouts on the, on the shoulders and then um, the rest of the arms. And both of those are washing just because it was with all the rest of our clothes and I wanted it all to be clean or whatever. <laughs> so I'll show those in a second when they come out. But so he bought me those. And then also I did get um, pajamas from Coca-Cola and a tank top from the Ron John surf shop. Oh, and then because as you can tell, I'm sunburned as all get out. Where is my sunscreen stuff? Oh, cute little like travel size. So this is sunbum. Jeez, sunbum cool down, and then um, 30 SPF, and then. Um, chapstick and it's just because like I don't know if you can tell that I'm sunburnt I mean but like you can tell I'm just I'm probably pretty red so uh, anyways yeah I got that and then oh and then Dom got his calm down thing where's that at anyways one of those bubble things you turn upside down or whatever we got that for Dom too and then um, for the house I wanted she's sniffing we have a puppy, I'm making sure she's not gonna. Um, I wanted, so they had this for Disneyland and I wanted to get it and I didn't get it when we were there. So I decided to get it from Disney World because I want to do it and then put it in like a poster and then put it as like art in the bathroom because I'm thinking about turning the kids bathroom into like a Disney bathroom because it's the kids bathroom. So that would be fine, right? And I bought Anna a hoodie. I tried to buy her a pair of shoes, but she said no, because that's how she is. She wants to be grown up. But then I also got a Disney World. So it says Disney World on it. it has all the parks. And it's like one of those soft blankets. Like, because I have the, um, like the art of animation blanket where it's like black and white and then has some color stuff in it. So um, I got another blanket for the living room, but we got Dom, he loves Baby Yoda and he's not gonna be able to do this all by himself, but it's a thousand um, for Baby, a thousand piece puzzle. And then Pete loves the game of life. So we got the Haunted Mansion version of the game of life. And then he also loves Mandalorian so he got Mandalorian and Baby Yoda it's pretty cute and as Dom calls him that's Baby Yoda and the other one is Grandpa Yoda and then um, Pete because I say that I wanted to and I wasn't sure if I was going to or not and I kept going back and forth about it and whatever Pete wanted to get me something that I could like go forward with like and put things on for special occasions and stuff and so like my ring um a couple of years ago what was it mother's day you got me the rose gold ring right was it was i pregnant with dom or was it after pregnant. i was pregnant with dom he got me the because i like i like white gold because i feel like it looks good on me because of my skin color but then i just really like rose gold so Anyways, he ended up getting me um, a Pandora bracelet. It's a rose gold bracelet. And then it has the two little diamonds on the outs or outside. And then the two, what are these things called? Lockers, I think. Lockers, something that are shiny because I like all things bling. And then a little Minnie and Mickey that are like married um, on it. And then um, I'm not going to wear it every day because my job is to... I'm touching all the nasty things and uh, it's really pretty and I don't want it to get tarnished. But if you guys have any hints for me as to like, they said it did come with a one year 
so I've been putting it with like my watch, but now I think I'm gonna have to start wear, wearing my, instead of wearing my Apple watch, start wearing my Michael Kors watch because that has like white gold, yellow gold, and then I think that the rose gold would complement it very well. Um, but if you have any suggestions on how to, I do have the polishing ring that they put on. And we and uh, we went to the Giardelli place because it's in Disney. And Pete got the peppermint bark because it's like the stuff that his mom used to make when she was still alive. So he got some peppermint bark when he was a kid. When he was a kid, yeah. And then because he loves caramel, he got the white chocolate caramel, white chocolate caramel, milk chocolate caramel, and dark chocolate sea salt caramel. It's like the caramel mix, basically. And then I was so pumped. So I love Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> and I just recently discovered it because I'm from Seattle. Well, I'm from Montana, but like we live in Seattle. It is like the birthplace of Starbucks. But Starbucks sometimes like hurts my stomach, especially now since I've had my surgery. It's like real acidic and tastes kind of burnt to me. And so I have to go with like the lighter roast. Pete likes a full flavor dark roast because he likes the full flavor of coffee. Or, or balanced. Or it's balanced. Kind of like light, like yeah. Like flavorful coffee. Yeah. And I, I mean, like, I, I was, we were talking when we were down in Florida when I was in Miami. I had like Colombian coffee, or not Colombian coffee. We had uh, uh, Cuban coffee, which is like really sweet, but it's like, bing, and all of a sudden you're like up and awake. I love the feeling of coffee, but I don't like the taste, the, gross you know whatever anyways so we had breakfast at duncan this morning in the airport and i was like it was like my disney magic continued on so anyways he surprised me when we were on the airplane coming home and he had bought me some ground duncan coffee from the duncan place so that's pretty exciting i'm gonna have that tomorrow morning when i'm trying to get back on our time frame so now on to dom and his spoiled little self let's not pretend like pete is not spoiled Pete over here got himself. What did you get yourself? I got myself a DJ Rex or RX R3X drone Joy. Mm hmm. Because he's badass. Mm hmm. And a replica Kylo Ren sword. A replica Kylo Ren sword. Uh. He's pretty excited about it. He's like actually very excited about it. So, uh, but apparently the, because you saw how much crap we had, he had to have it shipped. Well, it just made sense. Where is he? Can't find him. There he is. Yeah. So he had to have it shipped to the house. So we started, Don or he, I didn't, I had no, no, uh, nothing to do with it. Pete started Dom on getting his badges because Dom got a little, so he was doing really great on all the rides, like really great. And then we went on the, which one was it? The, it was the, no, he did great on Tower Tower and Everest. It was the, the, the blue people one, Pandora, the flying Pandora one. He like tripped out. So Pete said if he's brave, every time he goes on a ride, he gets a badge. So Dom started badge collecting. And for every ride he went on, he got a badge. So he got lots and lots of badges. He was a big, so it's kind of an expensive habit. But whatever, he likes it. And he's so proud of himself. There was one guy that was so cute and he wanted to trade Dom and um, he's like, oh, hey buddy, do you want to trade one of your badges for one of mine? And Dom hadn't eaten, <laughs> he was like halfway melting and he was just like, no. And we tried to explain to him like, oh, sometimes you can get a cool badge from somebody else and you know, da, 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 da. And he's just like not having it and whatever. But so Dom got one of these swords last time we were in Disneyland. We got him one and he loved it so much. He asked if he could have another one because it did ended up breaking. 
but he loves this sword. It was like one of his faves. And then because he's crazy, I don't know if you can get this, all these guys, these are two different sets of Star Wars guys, the bad guys, right, babe? They're all bad guys. Some of them are like collector's special edition ones. I don't really know. And then because of the dinosaurs, I can't remember why dinosaurs. Why did he decide on dinosaurs? Uh, Was there a ride? Because we were in Animal Kingdom. Oh, yeah, because we were in Animal Kingdom. He needed, because he had a, so, except for the badges, um, he had a limit. Um, so each kid had um, a $100 limit. Um, which was $25 per park per day. And then, um, so they had a, it was like two, if you bought two, they were 30. So they were 15 a piece. So he got dinosaurs and then one of these guys, I don't know, these toy guys. And then this other day we were in another park and that's when he got the other ones that were like some other price. And then he got his... Slinky Dog ears, because Slinky Dog ride was his favorite. And his little Slinky Dog butt kept breaking because he was playing with it. And I didn't want to take it back. Even though I know it's Disney and I know that they would fix it, I just, I just can't be that person. Like, I don't know, I couldn't. And then because he was having a kind of a rough day towards the end, um, that I got him a little plush, which was just a little bonus. And then, Pete did get himself some more badges to go with his um, collection just because. So he got himself an Animal Kingdom, a Pandora, a cool glow in the dark Jack with, can you see, Sally on his mind, which is cute, right? And then like a tattooed up right there it's kind of cool Darth Vader and then this is what is this the badge holder thing it's goes at the bottom like a, it's kind of like a pendant ew that was gutter what? you farted yeah, yeah it wasn't silent um, and then this is um, a like a autograph book with like a little pen isn't that cute that's kind of cute and then two 2020 badges which are cute so that's it i think we spent enough money we did good right babe yep. hope you liked our haul i'm gonna edit um and yeah well Comment, like, subscribe, tell a friend, and stay tuned for more Disney stuff and see if I get around to doing some of the cool Disney stuff that I was inspired to do when I was down there. All right.